Hello scholars, so we're going to be making castles. Now we've made castles for a long time and I have them on my sub plans for a while, but this is the first time that we're going to be doing them here asynchronously. Now to do this, it's very simple to start. First, the two most basic features of a castle are going to be the towers and the walls. We're going to start with that here. Now, how do you make a tower? A tower is basically a rectangle. So all I'm going to do is make a rectangle like so. Here's one tall one right here. If you want to make the tower look a little rounder, you can always make the bottom curve and you can make the top curve or you can leave it straight. I think over here I'm going to make another tower. Usually a lot of medieval castles would have two towers and in between them they would have a door. This whole thing was called the gatehouse. This is how you get into a castle. Basically here you have two towers, you have a wall, and in the middle you have one door, one main door for being able to get into a castle. So what do these things look like? Well, that's the basics. Rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. But you can get really complicated when you're trying to put details in here. For example, the towers. The towers can either have a nice little roof, they can have a little room with a roof, or they can have what's called crenellations. Crenellations are these little blocks that you usually see at the top of castles. That's where people are going to be hiding behind so that they can uh, shoot bows and arrows, take a look at you, see what's going on without being in any kind of danger. You can also check out a different kind of designs for the door. That front door can also be a rectangle, it can be a curve, it can be a pointed arch, uh, it could have a wooden door, it could have opening doors, it could have what this is called a portcullis, which is kind of like a gate. So you can figure that out here in the front. I think the easiest one for me to do is a nice little curve here. I think the towers right here, sure, let's go ahead and make them pointy. And if I want to get nice and fancy, I might even do some things like some flags. That's always nice. Maybe I'll put a little shield right here, maybe a shield right here. And if you want to put some windows, medieval windows would be very small. And I'll put some crenellations right there. Now that's all I want you to know how to do to start your castle off. Towers, walls, and if you want to keep the walls going even off the page, hey, that's fine too. Now, this is just how we start, this is just how we practice. Once you've got a good idea, we want to draw this the long way, because our castle is usually going to be a little bit longer than it is tall. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a line near the bottom, and that's going to be the ground for your castle. After that, I'm going to go ahead and draw, I think, my tower here. I think I'll put my other tower here. Nothing says they have to be the same size. You can make one bigger than the other, that's fine. Then I'm going to put my wall here, and then I'm going to put my door. If you want to get real fancy, you can even draw the drawbridge or the little gate that's coming towards you. I'm going to make it spreading out. See how it gets bigger at the bottom? That makes it look like it's getting closer to you. Make some little lines down here to make it look like it's really coming out towards you right there. Then after that, for here, I think I'm just going to do my little, oh, I'll do, I know, I'll do a little crenellation. Uh, I'm sorry, do my little uh, portcullis. There we go. So little lines coming down here. You can get real fancy. Uh, I think I'll put some little windows here. Up here, I think I'll add my crenellations here and here. And I'll even do a little wall, little wall, and I'll keep coming out. Now, I obviously don't want you to go this fast. I'm going fast because I don't want to waste your time. Now, when you're finished with this, this is all you really need. You can always get much fancier. You can always add more towers, even behind the wall. You can even put different kinds of roofs on it. They don't all have to match. Uh, I could put a little flag over here. I could put something here. I could put guards right here, kind of hanging out. Maybe he has a shield right here. Maybe he's holding on to a nice little spear over here. So I could put all kinds of details. I could even add textural details, things like bricks here. I don't want to draw too many. It's going to take me all day. But I could draw little lines here to make it look like I have little bricks all over the place. I could draw some grass. I could draw some water in the background. I could add things like mountains. I could add things like trees. I could add things like clouds. I could do things like some other little, oh, I don't know, how much little background back here. Um, I'm not going to make it a volcano or anything. I'll just leave it like that. Maybe I'll put some nice clouds up here. I could put a nice sun. But you can pretty much add whatever you'd like. You can even get really crazy and start adding things in the background like I did over here on this finished one. I put a giant back here. I put a nice little uh, dragon flying up in the sky. You can put whatever else you want to. Now you can see that with a pencil, you can get real small and draw lots of little details. I could draw a little fishing boat. Uh, if you want to do this bigger, 
You can't. Certainly, I'm using a pencil, but you could always get crazy and use something like crayons. I think crayons are a great way to go. The only problem is, if you're going to use crayons, you're going to probably have to use a much bigger paper to be able to do this. But you can see, if you use crayons, if you use a bigger paper, you can really get some nice effects, make it look really cool. So that is how we make a castle. Now, now you know how to do it. Go ahead and grab your stuff, get started. Can't wait to see how these turn out.